In our previous videos, we made contact sheets both in Lightroom and in Photoshop. I'm going to go through Bridge here and show you how to rank and sort both in Bridge and how you can also kick this into Photoshop to make that contact sheet. So I'm starting here on my server and I'm going into Downloads where I had those other images. And there's a lot of things in here. So again, I'm going to choose the images that I want for my contact sheet. So I could highlight a bunch of these, put on the shift key since they're all together. Or I could do the command key if there's certain ones that I don't want. If I have doubles, I could take some of these out. Okay, so this is how I select in Bridge. And of course, all of these windows and these panels are adjustable, so I can make things bigger or smaller. So these are the images that are inside my downloads folder. But first, let's go through and let's rank and sort these. So I'm going to start with this image, and I can just use my arrow keys to scroll through. And I'm going to rank and sort and decide which ones I like. So I'm going to start here. And all I need to do is do a Command-1. And you're going to see underneath I get that one star. So actually, I'm going to switch over. I know this is the one that I did that in Photoshop I had made this contact sheet. And I'm actually going to switch some things up right now. I'm going to go into this folder. I did a photo shoot for my nephew. And so in here, as it populates, you're going to see how many images I did. We spent a couple hours in the park with my brother. It was pretty wonderful. And I had 694 images from this. And that is very typical of what you're going to get on a photo shoot. So how do I sort this down to just, let's say, 25 to 50 images that I'm going to give them? So I'm going to start just by going through and seeing what some of these images look like. Now, as you can see, he poses for some of the times, and some of the times he's completely on the move, and I'm going to get some blurred garbage shots. So I'm just going to go through and say, okay, which ones are great? And I'm, what I do is called first, second, and third cut. So on my first cut, I'm just determining if I like it or not. So if I like it, I just do a command one. And you can start to see over here, I get those stars. So I'm just really quickly going through if I like it, I just really quickly do a command one. So I'm just going to do a couple. And I'm not worried in first cut if they all look the same, if they're all perfect. I'm just going through really quickly and saying, yes, I think it's great, or no, it's not. So these are kind of fun just because he's trying to smile but doesn't understand how to do that just yet. All right, let's finish up here. So we can find any cute ones. Okay, so I have a couple in here. Now again, we want to be able to see just how many images we've chosen in our first cut. So we go through here under the star on top, and we say show one or more stars. And I can see everything that's in first cut. Now in second cut, I would go through and say, okay, well I have multiple images that are the same. One of the nice things you can do in Bridge is I can select all of these and it will show me all of these together. I can always adjust the size of my thumbnails down here, but I'm going to look through and say which of these are the best. So I like this first one. And I'm just going to do a command 2 and give that a second cut. So I see it closer. Actually, I like this one. And go through and say if anything similar, which one do I like better? And anything I like, I'm going to do a command 2. Now again up here, we have second cut, and that will show me just my twos. As you go through first and second cut, if you have very specific criteria that you have to meet these exact things, that's when I would do a third cut. Once I have my images, I can now go ahead and make my contact sheet, or I can leave them in here, and I can pull them open in uh, Adobe Photoshop and just pull straight from there. So we are going to try this in two different ways. I showed you to make a contact sheet in Photoshop, so I'm going to leave that. I'm going to go here to my one stars, and I'm going to do a select all, so that the computer knows these are the images in Bridge. So up here, under my tools, this is where I could batch rename, and there is a tutorial for you to see that, how to rename these files to make it a little bit easier. I tend to find that what the camera puts on there is a little more difficult to remember than if I had named this with the child's name and then just numbering one, two, three, four. 
Then when I'm looking for images later on, I know exactly what I'm looking for. Also, if I take more pictures on that same memory card and I've deleted the images, I'm not worried about the file names saving over each other. So I can go into Photoshop right here and I can jump right into Contact Sheet through Bridge. Now I've already selected my images here in Bridge, they're already highlighted, so the computer's going to know exactly, the program's going to know exactly which images I'm looking for. Alright, so I still got something going on here, so there it is. And you can see when it opens up my contact sheet here in Bridge, we had two choices before. We had File and we had Folder. This one knows I'm already in Bridge because I came from Bridge, so it pulls that and it knows I've selected those 15 files. Again, we're doing 8 by 10, so it's a full sheet, and it's going to be 5 by 6, so I'm going to get 30 images, and down here I'm going to have the file name as well. I'm going to click OK. We know this is going to take just a minute as it pulls from one program into the other, and then it will give us a contact sheet. Okay, you can see this just opened, and I have my contact sheet right there. The names are underneath each image, and I can see all the images that I chose as my first cut. So just as simple as going through Photoshop, but I can be selective if I've already pulled things into Adobe Bridge, and if I've already ranked and sorted. If you need some other help on how to label them, check out the other tutorials and there's battery name and a lot of other things of how to adjust your images in Photoshop and in Lightroom once you've selected your images.